is yeah. based in Jakarta. That's where the Secretary General of the ASEAN yes. is. So since uh, our ambassador there, Zurab Alexidze, he actually covers ASEAN basically. So it's was strategic for him to be in Jakarta, where the home of ASEAN, mm. where the Secretariat of ASEAN is located. Because Georgia really wants to engage ASEAN. I mean, it's a small country, but they can see tayo dito sa ASEAN, sa putayo. Very dynamic po tayo dito sa ASEAN. We're 600 million people. Yes. 3.5 trillion dollar economies Economy, yes. put together. So they, they want to take advantage of this dynamic synergy that we can have with, with, which we can have with ASEAN. Mm -hmm. Before we continue with our discussion, let me usher in some reminders from our dear friends. Frontliners will be right back. International President Gary C.K. Huang, and we invite you all to please watch Rotary in Action. Only here at the UNTV, your public service channel. See you. After winning the KBP Golden Dub Best Public Service Announcement Award, for its anti-smoking campaign and anti-drugs advocacy, UNTV receives another Best Public Service Announcement Award for its Caring for the Elderly campaign at the 22nd KBP Golden Dub Award. This advocacy is UNTV's contribution to society by way of giving out services to the elderly that promote their general well-being. With or without recognition, UNTV will continue its service to people of all ages. To God be the glory! Nagbabalik po ang frontliners and uh, with all the recent news, naapektuhan ba ang uh, relasyon ng Georgia at Pilipinas? Of course, you hear this uh, terrorism issue. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Georgia has uh, the same problems with maybe the fundamentalist Muslim side. No? So, anong uh, well, uh, 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 fortunately, uh, Georgia doesn't have any problems like that. Uh, Georgia is an Orthodox Christian country predominantly. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a small Catholic uh, population, very, very, very small. small. Also, very small Jewish population, but majority Orthodox Christian. So, it's, very, it's a very homogeneous society. Although, across the border, from the Caucasus Mountains, you go across the border, that's where you have Chechnya and all those, yes. uh, you know, rather un unstable regions. Unstable no? region. Uh -huh. yeah, but Georgia is very quiet, very stable, and uh, very peaceful. Very A lot of internal peace, no, no internal security uh, Problems. issues. No, no. Uh, Georgia, before it was uh, taken over by Russia, was known also as Georgia or was known by a different name? It's always been known as Georgia, the state of uh, the Soviet Republic of Georgia. Yes, although in Georgian language, it has a different name. It's not called Georgia, it's called Sakat Belo. That's what the local Georgians call Georgia. And the capital, this is what I was going to ask. What is the capital of It's called Tbilisi. 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 Yeah. Now, of course, uh, you were mentioning your, uh, earlier the outreach that Georgia extended during uh, the last typhoon, Yolanda. Would you like to share it with us? Yes, uh, ang uh, consulate of Georgia arranged for uh, some donations uh, from the country of Georgia itself, yes. uh, some from the from England, some then, uh, to be sent to at the town of Palumpon, sa Leyte, Leyte, para makatulong doon sa pagrehabilitate ng lugar. Mm -hmm. uh, so yung rehabilitation ng, ng library nila para sa mga bata, yung mga uh, tools, mga blankets of course, dahil yes. kulang doon cooking utensils kasi kulang sa gamit. Yes. Even toys, no? For the, for ah, the yes, children. Yes, toys, well. toys for children. For children. Okay. Moving forward, as uh, the Georgians here in the Philippines. No, uh, how do you see uh, relate the relationship, even uh, 
uh, develop in the next few months? Um, very strong. In fact, we have some, you know, our, our initiatives in, here in the Philippines to promote Georgia, ongoing. Like like every month, we've got film festivals, road shows. Mm -hmm. I'm, I or Norma are always, you know, invited by universities and colleges to talk to the students about it. And we do this at least once, once a week or once mm -hmm. every two weeks. And in November, we're actually going to bring, I'm going to bring a uh, Philippine artist to exhibit in Georgia. So he'll be the first Philippine artist, Pancho mm -hmm. Piano, mm -hmm. to exhibit in Georgia. He's a visual artist. And we're also going to be participating in the Tbilisi International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. See, director Bri Brillante Mendoza, uh -huh. one of his movies, we're going to bring it there and we're going to show one of his environment-friendly, environment-themed movies mm -hmm. in the Tbilisi International Film Festival, among other engagements. So we really have a lot of projects to bring the two countries close together. In terms of business, uh, relationship with the DTI and uh, the big uh, business houses here. Uh, has is there any prospects that you're looking at? I'm glad you asked that question. Kasi ganito yung uh, as we said, yung Georgians they don't have that much business or manufacturing to speak of. Yes. Nakikita nila tayo. Malaki tayo eh. Instead, in the, yung kahit yung mga back in the they're bigger than what they have in Georgia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With the DTI's help, with the Center for Industrial Competitiveness, with the uh, Director Boy Flahensho, yes. we're tying everything together with them, mm -hmm. with the Ministry of Trade in, in Georgia, para magkaroon ng pagkaroon communication in between kung paano ang investment doon, paano mm -hmm, sila pwede mm -hmm. ito rito. Mm -hmm. Ganun ang ginagawa. Gano'ng kabilis magtayo ng business sa uh, Georgia? Very fast. Very fast. Very, maybe you Two weeks? Mm -hmm. You can, you can uh, set a business yeah, a week, Even less weeks? because they have this uh, one-stop shop yeah. policy. In fact, um, it's it's very much transparent. Pagdating mo pala sa airport, meron ng mga brochures. Nakikita mo kung paano magtayo ng business dun eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have their own export processing zones as well. So mm -hmm. so land is not much of a problem uh, mm -hmm. doon sa lugar na yun. Mm -hmm. And investors can avail mga tax holidays. They can repatriate their profits 100% for free. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. So the things that we enjoy, that investors here enjoy, are also available there. So I think these are kind of like... You Universal, so to speak, in a lot of countries trying to promote trade and investment. And uh, right now, is, is Georgia is part of the EU or is uh, undergoing process of Not becoming yet. a Although they're very close to the EU, um, our Prime Minister, uh, Irakli Garibash, he said maybe in five to ten years, Georgia could be a member of the EU, although wala pang date really. But really, I mean, behind the scenes, a lot of initiatives are being done to bring Georgia closer to the EU. We're actually very much closer now than we were even five years ago to the EU. So that could happen five to ten years. Is there any any uh, plan to invite maybe a minister over uh, from Georgia to pay a courtesy call to our leaders here or even a minister from the Philippines to visit Georgia in one? Occasionally there are uh, officials who come here as well as officials from here who go to Georgia. I think Secretary Pahe went to Georgia a year and a half ago. So mm -hmm. there are those top level, high level uh, exchanges. Mm -hmm. But like in January, we have a, a big education delegation coming, private sector education delegation coming from Georgia. And Norman is actually spearheading this because he's working with Lyceum mm -hmm. of the Philippines University to take care of this delegation. And Sam, in our experience, when you involve the private sector, I, I hate to say this, but a lot of, of times you get things faster. done faster. <laughs> no, and you know that. Oh, you know that. <laughs> I know that. I was part of the call. There you go. <laughs> and uh, uh, with regard to, well, you mentioned schools, no? Yes, you have yes. tie up uh, with schools. Uh, uh, is the calendar the same? Because you, yeah, uh, Norman. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> here, we're, we're, Good the college is Good changing question. just Good to adjust It's different. Outside. It's different. Um, so. They start in September then. That's one of the one of the things that we're studying right now. Paano magtatay up? Kasi, di ba, there are changes. Yes. That's actually held us back from pushing exchanges Remember, with students. It was yeah. the difference in We started the yes. discussion in 20, yes. uh, 2012. Okay. It's not 2014. So we're, we're trying to tie these things up. Uh, para ano, kasi mangyayari kapag sinundan natin yung schedule natin with their schedule, itigil na one semester yung student, yeah. for example. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, mahirap eh. Oh. So, right now, we're, we're looking at possibilities uh, on ways on how we can go about this. Well, in Uru na. Yeah, but it's, a, it's hard to adjust with the K-12. Oh, no? yeah. so in Uru na natin yeah. ng... Yeah. In Uru na, in Uru na, in August na. Malapit-lapit na. Malapit na. O kung August yan, okay lang. Pero there are still some that are in June or July eh. Really, for education exchanges, it's not because of lack of interest. There has been interest. It's because of that, really, that, that calendar yeah. year difference that really has kept us back. The, Hopefully, the, the schools are the ones that are concerned about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, any parting words? First from Norman, and then we'll go to Paddy. We invite those who would be looking around for, say, mga places to go, as I said, castles and old-style uh, European or medieval worlds. But 
Siyempre, hindi nyo iiwanan yung mga iPad nyo. <laughs> at saka iPhones. Uh, yung may Wi-Fi doon. Kasi may Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah. So, please Facebook. come to Georgia. It is a different country. It is a good country to visit. Ang ganda nito. Buddy? Yeah, well, first of all, Aaron, I want to thank you. And of course, I want to thank UND, uh, UNTV for uh, giving us this opportunity to showcase Georgia to all of you. And I want to tell you that Georgia, as uh, Norman said, is a beautiful country. It's a wonderful country. And Peace, I hope this conversation has made you more interested in Georgia. And you know, we in the consulate, we maintain an open door policy. Our doors are always open. You can come visit us, you can come call us if you have any questions. And of course, visit our website, www.georgiaconsul.com, and we're also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Any other telephone numbers they can... Uh, uh, they're they're on the website. They're, they're on, on the, the website. website. The easiest way to find easiest. website. Thank you very much, Mr. Thelmo Kunanan, Honorary Consul of Georgia in the Philippines, and Mr. Norman Kamungol, Director of Educational Cooperation Programs ng Honorary Consulate of Georgia. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, kasama ang mga nangunguna sa pakikipag-ugnayan ng bansa sa ating kapwa saan mang sulok ng mundo, anumang oras, anumang panahon. Sa ngalan po ni Kuya Daniel Rozon for Frontliners, I am former Congressman Erin Pagliari.